Citing your research is very important. It tells readers that you've used legitimate sources, it allows them to research your topic further, it helps you to avoid plagiarism by properly identifying others' ideas, and most importantly, it gives credit to the creator. You may know that there are a handful of citation formats. This video will teach you how to properly cite peer-reviewed articles, newspaper articles, and books using APA formatting. Let's begin with citing a journal article. To properly cite a journal article, you will need the author's name, the title of the article, the date it was published, the title of the journal, the volume number, and the page numbers the article is featured in, and finally, the DOI. All of this information can be found within the article as well as the site you retrieved it from. First, write the author's last name, followed by a comma, and then their initials. After this, Add the year the article was written in, in parentheses. Next comes the title. Only the first letter of the first word is capitalized. If there is a subtitle, then the first word after that will also be capitalized. Next, you should add the italicized title of the journal. After this, add a comma and write the volume number. Beside this number, in brackets, write the issue number, and followed by a comma, write the pages this article can be found in. Lastly, add the DOI. Newspaper articles are cited quite similarly. For these, you will need the author's name, the title of the article, the date it was published, the title of the publication, which is the paper it's written for, and the URL. Once again, add the author's last name followed by a comma and their initials. Next, you should add the date in parentheses. It will follow the form year, month, date. Next, add the title of the article, after which you should add the title of the publication and italicize it. Finally, add the URL. Lastly, let's look at how we can cite books. For this example, we'll use two authors. For this citation, you'll need the names of the authors, year of publication, the title of the book, and the publisher's name. This information can be found on the front cover and on the copyrights page, which is usually the first page in the book. Like we've been doing before, add the author's last name followed by their initials. Since we're using two authors, the first author's name will be followed by a period and a comma. Next, you will add an ampersand or and symbol, and you will add the second author's last name and initials. Next, add the year of publication. This part changes a little bit because we're going to be adding the title of the book and we'll be italicizing that. Following this, add the publisher's name and you're done. This is what your reference list should look like. Don't forget to put your sources in alphabetical order and make sure you're using hanging lines. When doing in-text citations, you should follow the format of last name, comma, year of publication within parentheses at the end of the sentence. Now that you know these basics, you'll be able to cite any peer-reviewed article, newspaper article, or book. If you'd like to learn how to cite other forms of media, check out Purdue OWL's APA Citation Guide at owl.purdue.edu for more information.